Good morning. Good morning. My name is Ian. My name is Lauren. And welcome to Plie and Press on Saturday mornings live from our studio here in Guelph, Ontario. Barnes and Bells. With oh, Barnes and Bells. Nice. So today in our Press and Plie, we'll have our chair or a balance aid of your choice. We'll be working on some stretch and strength for the low body, hips, and feet, and working on the push up techniques for the upper body for the whole body strength and or pow. So you don't need that. anything. Just don't really need too much, just a chair. And we're going to get started with our feet in the warm ups position. So I would come a little bit closer here and get my feet in nice and parallel first. From a parallel position, push the big toe down that the knee will come forward. Push through the toes that you might point and pause for a second. Look at the foot. Is it pointed? Or is it sickled? You need to again em emphasis on this nice straight line through the big toe and the foot. Perhaps at that point you could flex over the toes. So we go like that. And then back to the toes or the big toe now and pushing down that heel. Hello, someone just said hello here. We'll say hello to you as well. So we have our parallel feet positions warming up our feet. Pull the knee forward by pushing into the floor through the big toe. Look at it. Address a sickle. Make ourselves aware of what that looks like. Pull to center. Point through the toes. And perhaps flex over to give it that shape. And then back through the toes. Press down, pulling those legs back together. Pivot on the heels, and we'll repeat the same thing from our first position. Balance! Here we go. From our first position, same thing. Heels together. Heels together. My calves are too jacked sometimes. Okay, there we go. So pulling the knee by pushing through the ball of the foot. Pointing through the toe. Look at it for a second. Perhaps address that sickled ankle. Continue to push that ankle bone forward and flex over on the toes. Back to the toes, pull up on the standing supporting leg over here, and pull the heel back down. Same thing on the other side. Pull through the floor that the knee goes to the side. Address a sickled foot, do a little bit of both, but maintain that ankle forward now. Point through the toes, flex over on the toes. Back to full toe, Pull the heel down. First position, do the same thing in our second position. Point, pull yourself to the floor. Same idea here, push yourself over a supporting leg, pointing through the foot. Address a little bit of that sickled ankle here, just do a little bit of ankle roll. Keep that ankle pointing forward, pull, heel down. Push to go the other way, point through the toes. Play with that ankle again, just a little bit, and again, important bit takeaway here is that ankle bit forward and pull down. One more time, and point, and point, and use this toe strength, use the strength of the foot there to keep pushing the toes away for a second longer, pull down, other side, point, and toe strength. And toe strength and toe strength and two more. One, two, pull and just relax for a second there. Can you wiggle it too? We want to move all ways. I just want to say, see who said hello here. Hello. <laughs> Jane Fonda would be wearing spandex. I know. It's because of you. The class name is because of you, and then it did come up on a, a YouTube search. And hey, we're gonna try it. I was gonna try, call the Jane Fondue. I was gonna call the Jane Fondue workout because we're gonna get into our fondues in a second as well. Um, thank you for tuning in. So from feet to we'll get some spandex. We'll get some spandex. So Not from easy. feet to wrists. So from feet to wrists here. Wide open hands, just like the feet where we were gripping with the feet, we want to grip with the hands. That blood donation to face forward, the shoulder to be pulled down. We'll continue to build that relationship with the floor here for pushes. The first knuckle push-up is one of my favorite here. You 
and see more from the side, as we'll keep the fingers heavy. And just like the feet there, we were able to um, lift up onto those first knuckles there. Now, melt an ice cube, crush a pop can, press down, press back down to the floor. Do the same thing for two or three again, pressing through the floor, creating that tension and sharing a load across all those fingers and pull down. And again, Lauren has great straight elbows here, making, uh, containing that shrug. Last one. Come to a tall kneel position, wiggle out those hands. <coughs> Get into our hip flexor or so as a lunge position here. Uh, how about I do a quarter turn and you kind of cue us through this for a second? All right, quarter turn. Quarter turn. Um, so in our hip flexor lunge position, let's think of our hips or our pelvis as a bowl of punch. We don't want to spill our punch. So let's fix our punch so it's not tipping forward or back. So if we tilt our tailbone to the ceiling, our punch would spill out the front of our bowl. If we tuck our tailbone under, our punch should now be about level horizontally. Now, come across your belt line, lift your, hike your hip up of the leg that's on the floor, and then pull it down. And now your bowl of punch should be sitting nice and level in all four, if you will, directions. Keep that level bowl of punch, and just gently take that punch for a forward, backward drop. It's just sliding on the tabletop there, forward and backward, keeping it nice and level, not waves in the punch. Good, come back to a neutral. <clears throat> take your front foot and walk it open to the side here. Yes, so it's about in line with your knee. It also depends on how much your hips open up. Mine isn't actually really in line with my knee. Now take that, that knee that's over there and Push it open with its own power from its butt cheek. So you're driving that knee back. And again, your hips are still level here. Still level. From here, we're going to chop that hip, push it back, rotate, and hinge so our hand finds the floor. Our hand finds the floor underneath our shoulder. We might have spilt our punch a little bit here because our hips are tilted. That's okay. You can clean it up later. Rotate behind you through your window and then rotate open towards the front. As you rotate open, don't reach too much with your head and neck. Think about rotating through your rib cage. Close back up, face the floor. Watch your head and neck there, doesn't over rotate. Pull open, rotate open, stay open. Hand leaves floor. Front foot moves back to the front. Pull that leg underneath you. Switch, same thing. Other foot comes to the front. Let's level our hips in all four ways. So first, our forward backward punch pull, in quarter turn. So spill your punch out the front of your punch pull by tilting your tail to the ceiling. Tuck your hips under, level up your punch. Now it's nice and no splashy. Now pull this hip up, tip your punch out there, pull it down. Hips are level, punch is nice and stationary in its bowl. What color is your punch? Do you picture Red. It? Yeah, I have red punch. Red too. always. Now stay tucked under and just slide that bowl of punch across the table so it's sliding, not tipping forward and back. Last one. Well, I like that drill. I don't really do that a lot, but I really like that. Drill. Thank you. Then take your front foot, open it to your open. Again, if I go further than my hips don't open that way that much, if I go further than that, you'll notice my toes are faking it and my knee is falling in. So don't fake it, just go as far as you can. Chop on your hip, hinge, rotate, hand finds floor again. Rotate through your window, I'll call this your window between your elbow and your knee. Rotate through your window. And then pull that rib cage open towards the front of the room or the ceiling. And I'm pulling on the floor still. And then rotate, close, exhale, rotate. Sorry, actually, I like to exhale as I rotate open my fault. Open up. Now, keeping that level and leaves the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Front foot will move to square you up, keeping your punch level. Pull your leg underneath. Woo! Great. Awesome. 
So we're gonna talk just really quickly about the push-up while we're down here on the floor. Our push-up standard looks like this. I'll repeat this for two repetitions here. Just watch, what do you think? Am I okay on my push-up? Does it look like a push-up? Here we go. One, two hundred. Good. That is the push-up that we'll try to emulate through the rest of these drills for today. Establish that position just for a couple seconds. We'll get Lauren to do that first here. So if Lauren would get established as your high plank, hands open, elbows straight, shoulders down, hips are up. Nice. From here, we're gonna use that cue of tucking under the hips in the, the rib tuck there. Could I just get this also from my knee? Modify this for sure. Modify for, for sure. We're always looking for that straight line between our head, our shoulders, and our hips with that nice active core. So for five more seconds here, create tension. What do we mean? Squeeze your bum, break your core, pull the floor together, create that holy cow moment. Three, two, gently off the knees. In this practice, we'll emphasize our forward fold over our hinge. From the floor, come up through a nice folding pattern. Play with it, we'll discuss that later. Meaning like a down dog, down walk your hands towards your feet. Fold, what does fold mean? Can fold mean straight knees? Can fold mean breathe? Can fold mean stack? Means origami. And then we can wiggle that out. We established our foot positions from standing a moment ago. Right now, we'll get into our foot positions with the plies. On the bar with the apparatus, please feel free to use one. Feet in parallel and turn the feet out. Can those heels stay together again? We to always try. Hand on the hip in this first position, wherever you wish, I will be on the hip. Pull yourself down into a plie. Looking for that diamond shape between your knees. Pull the knees together. We close the window from before. We're gonna open a window, see the daylight, and pull back together. Lauren's favorite cue is between a toaster. In a toaster. In a toaster. So in a toaster, spread those knees. On pull back bread. up tall. On the bread. We'll repeat that twice more here. Your bread, I'm bread. The toaster is here, get toasty but not burnt. One more time. Pulling, 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 and back together. Repeat the same thing, go five repetitions there from our second position. Tondu or point out, pull down into a second or a sumo stance, and repeat the same thing for five. Breathe in on the down, and up. Make sure you One. straighten those knees every time. Two. Heels are heavy. We'll do that twice more here. Keeping your hips tucked under you. And one more time. Up. Grab one of that bar if you did let go. Point. Pull your legs together. And give them a little wiggle. Wiggle it. Wiggle it. The fondues, those Jane fondues. Favorite exercise lately on a single leg. Standing in parallel, hands on hips or any of those other positions you wish. Pull the big toe to touch that inside knuckle on the top of the ankle. From here, knee forward. Pull yourself to stand. Repeat. Full foot. Pull yourself to stand. Now, for two repetitions, can we find our toe balance here? Press into the forefoot there, the big toe and the pinky toe side, and hold for four, three, and slow and control in the down. Repeat that one more time. Use that chair assist as we need here. And I'm just going to own that position. There we go. Not too high right away. Two more seconds. And slow down. Pull that leg to the floor. Repeat on the other side. Pull up. Pull up the floor here. Blah. Anchor on that inside ankle knuckle. Knee forward. And pull to straight. Knee forward. And pull to straight. 
From here, keep the knee straight and go for the toe balance. For four, three, two, control the down, nice and slow. Take a breath, reestablish, and one more time. Up to the straight leg there, Lauren. So one last toe balance. The ribs to the hips, hold for a couple seconds here. And control down. And pull that leg back down to the floor. And also let that wiggle out. At this time, we're going to work on push-ups. We'll do our slow cadence, high integrity. Please modify with the knees when you need. Both Laura and I will fold on the floor, and then I'll perform these sets of push-ups with Laura and Q. <clears throat> so starting in your forward fold, tuck your chin. Think about pushing those vertebrae back behind you as you roll one vertebrae at a time all the way down. Good. Slowly finding the floor, trying to keep those legs nice and straight as long as you can like a ballerina. Then walking yourself out to your push-up position. Again, hands will be under shoulders-ish, out to the side of it, depends on lengths of your body. Shoulders pulled down. You'll notice Ian's feet are pretty wide here, so hip width or slightly wider is fine. Pull your shoulders down, raise your abs, tuck under, slow descent, five seconds down, five, four, keep your head in line, no chicken neck in, three, okay, he did a modified there too, so two, one, all the way down, when he leaves the floor to stand back up, everything, sorry, what to push up, everything leaves the floor at the same time, tuck, pull your shoulders down, and up, Nice. One more time. Lift your knees. Same thing all the way down. Five second descent. Five, four, three. Everything touches at the same time. Good. Reset. Pull your shoulders back. Tuck your hips under. Brace your abs. One unit up. Knees will lift. Toes will tuck. Good. Walk your hands back towards your feet. <clears throat> and slowly roll yourself back up to standing. <sighs> Love that old. We'll come back to the bar, and here we'll perform our hip bars or those rotations for our hips. Rob Dijon, my guest, too. In parallel for us here today, point a single leg forward and start that external rotation in the hip, that outwards turn, as you bring this nice straight leg out to the side. Now turn that underneath, so my kneecap is turning under now as I pull that leg to the back and pull across the toes as I bring that foot back underneath my hip. Repeat to the rear, extend the straight leg, open up in that hip, externally rotating or bringing that inseam forward. I point to the side in that second position. I bring it around to the front. My foot isn't sickled, I'm always thinking of that too. And now pull across the floor underneath. Same thing on the other side. Switch your room? Sure. Excellent. Tall on this inside leg, point, pushing across the floor. A little harder than bare feet on rubber, but we try. Point forward. Turn out in that hip, this inseam forward. As I reach out to the second position here. Now turn the inseam underneath or in the back as I pull my legs together and then over the toes. Keep your knees straight. To back underneath. Now, I think that was Lauren from a little shade at me here. That's okay. You need that reinforcement. So one more time to the back. Extend the hip to the back with that nice straight leg. That open action externally rotating the hip. To bring this out to the second position and from second to the front, check that angle for sickle and points and pull on in. We'll do the same thing off the floor. Point to the front like before and with that external rotation lift up off the floor a little bit. Keep it honest. Stay strong on the supporting leg and nice and control. Draw a nice circle off the floor here at the hip. Pulling around to center. To the back. To the back. And then underneath the center. With those nice straight legs, we'll use the floor and reach and point to the back. 
Our ribs are down, we're nice and tall. That external rotation in the hip. As we leave it off the floor there a little bit, we bring it back to center with our point and our pull underneath. And the same thing on the other side. Final one. You have to do more ropes, so you have to switch. Oh, isn't it nice to have a break though? Mm -hmm. It's nice to make more. Working hard next time. Okay. So tall on the inside leg again, <coughs> pointing the front, that external rotation to help you lift, and then that reaching away while we're nice and tall on the supporting leg here. And we reach out to the back, straight legs always. Pulling underneath to center. Nice bent knee. Which one? Your right one. Is that? Okay, I'm not, as long as my it's standing one. Clogging. My standing one, that's better. Now point out the back, straight knees in, come on. And then we're off the floor if we're allowed to be. As we're tall and reaching and working, a straight leg back to front with a point and a pull underneath. Yeah. Okay. So forward fold to the, to the ground again. And from here, we'll do another set of about two push ups as a maximum. So rolling yourself back down again, <clears throat> keeping those knees straight for as long as they can. Walking yourself back out. Push up position. Head stays in line with the rest of your body. Slow, controlled descent. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, three, two, one, all the way down. Readjust as you need to. Pull your shoulders down, one unit, back up. Good. Back up. Slow down again. Five seconds, sorry, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, knees all the way down here. Resetting shoulders, tucking hips under, bracing for one unit, up. Good, walk your hands back towards your feet, straighten those knees. Tilt that tail to the ceiling. And then slowly finish that roll up here to top. Whew. And always wiggle it out. I'd like to spend a little extra time in that uh, second position, sumo squat, and sometimes we call it our back squat as well. Do we have a light load? I have a light load right here. You have a little right. So if you do have a light load, here I'm using my vintage dumbbell. Lauren's going to use a ring or something maybe, or maybe we need to hang on the bar for our balance. Our back squat. I'll do two repetitions again, and after that we'll do it as a group. From our first position, we'll open up to second. A sniff. A pull down. An exertion as you press away. Bring the dowel overhead. Stand up and pull down. Mm -hmm. Repeat. A sniff. A pull down. A press forward towards your overhead. Stand up and pull down. Repeat that for one or two more repetitions. Overhead, be safe, and pull that activity down with those armpits. Here we go. Take a sniff, pull, press, overhead, and up, and down, and one more. Pull yourself down, exhale as you press forward, Overhead, keeping those elbows straight and straight up the tall. I want to do one more time. We only do two. One more. That breath to prepare and pull yourself down. <gasps> Exhale. Overhead. Up. <gasps> straight. And pull. Cool. We're going to go back to those Jane Fondas here. The fondues. Find a single leg, and back up just a hair, I'm sorry. Find that single leg by bringing the other toe to that top ankle knuckle there. Fold or bend on the knee, pushing it forward. 
stand up tall, and find our toe balance. And slow if I can down, down. See me do that? I try really hard not to do that. We want to keep those ribs connected to the hips. So again, here we go. Knee forward, knee tall or pull straight. Find a balance, ribs to the hips, nice and confident and strong, and slow down. And final one here, knee forward to tall, cramp up the glute, straighten the knee, keep those ribs to hips, and slow down. And pull that elevated leg to the floor. Repeat, other side, toe to that knuckle on the ankle. Our knee forward, our knee straight, our knee straight, and ribs down as you balance for two. One, and down as a unit. Repeat, knee forward, knee straight. Squeeze your glutes, brace your core, balance for two. One, control down. Final repetition, knee forward, cramp to straight, to the ball of the foot, put those ribs down for two, one, and slow off, and return to the floor. Two push-ups, you go this time. <laughs> so repeating that forward fold protocol, we start, <laughs> we start the chin, we roll down that spine, we're pulling with your abdominals, to get yourself in our lower position. Establishing the hips and the head and the shoulders and the beautiful straight line. We'll cramp up for five or 10, more we'll take 10, nine, eight, and we're actively pulling ourselves to the floor and squeezing our bum every now and then again, and everything to the floor. Reset, we'll tuck under those hips, engaging the core, squeeze your butts, and <clears throat> press up. Repeat one more time, if that feels like that's a strong move for you, we're pulling ourselves to the floor, we're maintaining our tension and our breath. Squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt, squeeze the butt. And then tuck under hips, brace core, press away from the floor. And a slow, enjoyable fold back to standing. Cool, Lauren, good job. We're going to take our practice into open space. A little bit of some weight transfers between our second positions or a Cossack squat it was one of Lauren's favorites, so it kind of emulates that movement as well. Start in parallel, spin to first, from first, I'll go this way, sorry, Lauren. We'll go to second position here. In second, push a knee towards over a toe, and maybe do a little bit more and transfer some weight, and we might be able to lift this leg off here. We'll hold that for a five, four, three, then place that leg down, foot down, straighten the bent knee. Change that. Other side, same thing. Out to the side, hang out there, keep those hips forward, keep those hips level, breathe into that. Can we transfer some weight there? And just hang out for a little quick balance for a couple extra seconds. Then tap that foot down. Pull the foot down, straighten both knees. Other side, knee forward, lift to transfer some weight, straighten that leg. Can we find a toe balance on that leg now? For five, four, three, full foot. Bend that knee, toe down. Pull yourself across. You might have bent knees in the middle there. To a straight leg on the center, a bent leg on the outside. Transfer that weight to the standing leg. Nice and straight through the knee. Straighten the leg and find the balance. For four, three, two, and a slow foot down. Bend that knee. Tap that toe, pull the foot down. You might straighten both knees, you might have both bent in the middle, and repeat one more time on your side. Knee over toe, lift the leg. 
Straighten the leg. Explore the balance for five, four, three, two. Slowly down. Bend the knee. Tap the toe. Pull the foot to center with bent or beautifully straight or beautifully bent knees to more nice. And then to the side, to the point, to that weight transfer, to the knee straight. It's the last balance of the day for five, four, three, two, all right. Slow down, knee bend, hold to center with bent your straight legs and then straighten and then let that shake out. I really enjoy that. That's one of Lauren's traditions to our practice here. That's one of my favorite exercises. Fold to the floor for one more set of our push-ups here. Roll your stock down, starting at the top again, unlike what I did for a second. Rolling all the way down here. Walking yourself up to your push-up. I wish I had my long towel here so you could see that his head, butt, and shoulders are all in line. Slow down. Go. Eight. Seven. Six. Stay tucked under. Five. Four. Three. Two. Everything finds the floor. Tucks. Shoulders packed. One unit up. Back up. Eight second descent. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Watch your head and chicken neck. Four. Three. Two. Soft down. Pull the shoulders back. Tuck hips. One unit up. Up, and then walk your hands towards your feet, knees straight as you can, slowly come up, take a second. Excellent. We have one more drill. It's the développé or the isometric holds. They're awesome, they're very hard. Be honest with your balance and the positions of your hips as we go through these exercises. Low is fine. Build our intensity and our awareness of these drills as we go forward here. Hold on that apparatus, hand on hip or elsewhere you prefer. Pull the leg up like you were doing the fondue, but keep it going towards the knee. Hike a hip. No thank you. Pull that hip nice and low. Look at the knee, hold the knee. Think about that knee in the same position now. As we extend at the knee, and we're going to hold for up to 10. 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three. Now tap the floor with a straight leg and pull underneath. Repeat one more time. Assist as we need here. Pull up that standing leg. Stand tall on this leg here with our hips level. Hold, hold. Look at the knee. Keep it in the same position as we can here. As we slowly extend through the knee again and hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, tap, and close. Other side. That gets me right here. How about you? That front of oh, my, this. my quad. Standing leg or elevated leg? Elevated leg. Got me on the standing leg. Interesting. Yeah. Up. Here we go. Pulling up again. So we have that nice little knuckle of the ankle and then pull up to the knee. I'm trying to take away that daylight you see in my hips there. And then from here, knee in the same position and extend the knee to hold for five, four, three, two. Tap down. I think we got off the hook easy on that. I was going to say. I think we got off the hook easy. So you have to do at least 10 seconds on this last side here. Pulling up. Pulling up knees together. Hold the knee in the same position. And extend through the knee. And hold for seven, six, five, four, three. Tap down with control. You do got it easy that time. And pull it in underneath. Come on, Lauren. Time for us to say goodbye. That's it. So thank you so much for joining our practice this morning. We look forward to doing this again next Saturday morning at oh. 8 o'clock, live. And we've, 
We've heard back from member clients here in Guelph who have done this in the archive. So please explore all the content. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. We appreciate your support. Leave and a comment if you'd like. We'll get back to you. And join us for a handstand workshop in 25 minutes if you're interested. Have a little coffee, recharge. Recharge. Handstands. Four things upside down. So thanks for joining us. Thank you for coming. Stay strong. Stay see strong. strong. We'll and soon. we'll see you soon. Have Bye -bye. a great day. <laughs> Spandex next time. Spandex next time. I said that, but I don't think it actually came through.